Hello everybody and welcome to another Rubrik Solutions walkthrough. I'm Mike Preston and today we're going to take a look at how we can use the SQL Server Live Mount feature within the Rubrik Cloud Data Management Platform to assist us with some of those development and testing scenarios that may pop up. Now before we get into the actual demo, let's first take a look at what Live Mount is and how it works. Essentially, what we have here is a Rubrik appliance set up with an SLA to back up a database. Rubrik will continue to back this database up according to the specification set forth within the SLA domains. Now, when it comes time to restore, we could use the traditional recovery method of taking the data from the Rubrik appliance and restoring back to the SQL Server host. However, we also have some other options available to us as well, Live Mount being one of them. What Live Mount does is essentially utilize the Rubrik appliance as the production storage for the databases. It does this by creating an SMB share to our database host. From there, a new database is created with the underlying file structure mapped to the Rubrik appliance. No need to provision any new production storage and no need to wait for large amounts of data to be copied across the network. You can access this database just as you would any other database in your environment. Now this opens the doors for a lot of testing and development use cases as well. Think about table comparison. Being able to use SQL Server's table diff command to take a look at two different tables and find out what the differences are between them and database health checks. We all know these are very heavy in terms of storage IO, so why not let Rubrik handle that storage IO? As well, we also have object level recovery, being able to copy tables and records from our live mounted database back to our production database. When we've completed our testing scenarios, we can simply just unmount the database. So with that, let's jump into the lab and see how all of this works. All right, here we are logged into our Rubrik platform. So for this first scenario, we're gonna take a look at how we can use SQL Server's built-in tablediff.exe command in order to compare tables from live mounted databases to our production database. Let's say we've lost some records from our production database and we don't quite know when they were deleted. Let's live mount a couple of point in time copies of that database and see if we can't figure this out. The first thing we need to do is go and find our database snapshots. To do this, we go to servers and apps and then SQL Server DBs. Here, we use Rubik's smart and predictive search to find the exact SQL host that we're looking for. We'll drill down on it and then drill down into the SQL instance, and there's our database we'd like to look at, VentureWorks 2012. Inside the database overview page, we can see that we have a number of snapshots that have been taken on our database. Now I happen to know that the data was deleted sometime between August 20th and the 21st. So let's go ahead and create a couple of live mounts that we can look at. First, we'll click on the 21st, here, we'll drill down into all the snapshots we have for that day. Clicking the ellipsis menu next to the snapshot time and then clicking mount, we'll start the live mount process. Again, we can use Rubrik's predictive and smart search to narrow down our options. This is going to be the SQL host that I'd like to live mount my database to. I'll select it, click next, then I'll select my instance and give it a name. Let's go ahead and call this one August 21st. All right, now that that mount has begun, let's go back to our monthly view and we'll do the same thing for August 20th. Click the ellipsis icon and then click mount. Again, we'll nail down our search. Select the same SQL host, click next. Select the same instance. This time, let's call it August 20th and click mount. As the process begins, you can see how it's logged down in the activity log here. When the process is done, we should hopefully see two live mount copies of our database on our SQL Server. So let's head over to that and see what we have. All right, here we are within our SQL Server Management Studio, and we can see we still have our production database, AdventureWorks 2012, as well as our two live mounts that we just instantiated from the Rubrik cluster. Running this query here will give us a nice view of just where the files are that make up the underlying structure. As you can see, our production database files are located local to this machine, whereas our August 20th and August 21st files are located on a share on the Rubrik cluster. All right, 
So the table in question here is person dot person phone. Now I've noticed that there's absolutely no records in my production database in that table. So what we'll do is we'll actually use the SQL Server built-in table diff dot exe command in order to compare our production table against our live mounts. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, rather than you guys watch me trying to fumble through typing all this out, I'll just simply copy and paste this into a command shell. But really, the gist of the table diff.exe command is we send it a source server, which is going to be localhost, our source database, which is our production database, a schema, which is going to be person, and the table we want to look at. We then repeat all that information for our destination, or the database we want to compare against. The dash Q simply does a row count on the table and outputs the results. So let's go ahead and copy this into a shell. We'll first compare to our August 21st live mount. As we can see, we can see that AdventureWorks 2012, our production database, has zero rows. Our live mount as well, our August 21st table, also has zero rows. So that's not the one we're looking for. So maybe we should go and take a look at that August 20th with the same command. Ah, here we go. Now we can see that our production database obviously still has zero rows. However, our August 20th live mount has 19,972 rows in it. So sometime between August 20th and August 21st, we can say that those records were deleted. At this point, we could go ahead and use simple T-SQL if we wanted to recover those records back into our production table. But in our case, we'll simply move on to the next scenario that we can use SQL Server Live Mount 4 in terms of testing and development. So let's head back to the rubric cluster and instantiate another Live Mount. All right, we're back in the rubric cluster and back on our database overview page for our AdventureWorks 2012 database. What we're going to do now is utilize rubrics Live Mount in order to perform a database health check. Now, why would we want to do something like that? Well, as we all know, running the CheckDB queries against our production databases ties up a lot of resources, it ties up CPU cycles on the SQL Server, but it also ties up a lot of storage I.O. resources on the underlying storage. Now, when we use a rubric live mount to do this, we're essentially redirecting that storage to the rubric cluster. So really, we're not going to be using production I.O., we'll be using rubric I.O. Using SQL Server Live Mount to run database health checks is a great way to free up resources on your production environment while still getting that peace of mind that your database integrity is intact. So with that, let's see how it's done. Again, we'll go to our snapshots card here and select a date where we know a snapshot exists. We'll go ahead and select the ellipsis menu and perform another Live Mount. Here, we'll narrow down our results once again, select the SQL host, which we'd like to live mount on, the SQL instance, as well as give it a name. Let's call it demo, and we'll click mount. Once again, it's time to head back over to SQL Server Management Studio and see how it's going. All right, so we're back in SSMS. And as you can see, we have our AdventureWorks 2012 production database, as well as our demo live mount that we just instantiated. So let's go ahead and run a DBCC CheckDB health check against our demo database. As you can see, the command's exactly the same. We just simply point it at our demo database as its source. We can go ahead and execute this. And we're done. And as you can see in the return text, it actually went through and checked all the rows within all our tables within the database, looking for logical inconsistencies within, throughout the database. As we get down to the bottom, we can see the CheckDB found absolutely no allocation errors and no consistency errors within our database. So hopefully you can see the value of using Rubrics Live Mount feature to run database health checks, redirecting all that storage I.O. off of your production SQL server and onto the rubric appliance. So now that we're done, we have no need for this live mount anymore. So let's head back into the rubric cloud data management platform and get rid of it. 
All right, here we are back on our rubric database overview page. Now what we want to do now is basically unmount the database live mount we just performed. To do that, we can go to live mounts and SQL Server databases. Here we can see a list of all of the databases across the rubric cluster that are live mounted. Here's the one we're looking for, demo. And in order to unmount it, we simply go to the ellipsis menu and click on mount. In the confirm page, we just have to click on mount again. And the process of unmounting has begun. If we head back into SSMS, we should be able to see that the database is gone. Here we are back in SSMS, still listing here right now. But if we do a refresh on our databases, we can see that our demo live mount is completely gone. The backups on the rubric appliance remain unchanged and immutable, and any changes that may have occurred to that database during the live mount are simply just tossed away, ensuring that when the time comes to restore, we get an exact duplication of that point in time copy. So hopefully through these two scenarios today, you can kind of get your mind rolling and thinking about how you can use Rubrik's SQL Server Live Mount feature for your own testing and development use cases. If you want to learn more about how Rubrik protects Microsoft SQL Server, head on over to rubrik.com and download the Protecting Microsoft SQL Server with Rubrik white paper. Thanks for watching.